Good morning, I'm Clinton Griffiths. It's been three weeks since Russian bombs began falling on the country of Ukraine. Today, the Ukrainian president will take his request for more military support directly to Congress. Vladimir Zelensky will speak to the House and Senate today at 9 a.m. Eastern Time. Here's the latest. Russia has stepped up its bombardment of Kyiv, the capital city of Ukraine. An advisor to the Ukrainian president saying that the Ukrainian and Russian negotiators are discussing a ceasefire in Russian troops withdrawal during their latest talks and that the talks are continuing. The International Organization for Migration says more than 3 million people have now fled Ukraine since Russia invaded last month. UN officials are calling it the largest refugee crisis in Europe since World War II. One of those people who evacuated, Elena Niroba, a commodity analyst from Ukraine. In an exclusive interview with Ag Market Consulting, she talks about the frantic effort she made to evacuate the country with her son. Uh, I woke up when I heard a huge explosion and I just woke up my son, take a, uh, a key from my car and that's all, set of documents and that's all. We left the country immediately. We spent, uh, uh, almost 24 hours to get to the uh, Ukrainian-Poland border. Elena is now safe in Europe, but says several family members remain behind in Ukraine in shelters. As for farmers in the country, Elena says she believes they have enough seed and fertilizer, but the key problem is fuel. She's expecting a 30 to 35 percent cut in production this year if the war continues for another month. Usually we start corn uh, planting campaign in the mid of uh, April. It depends on weather, but um, the window is from the mid April till the almost till the end of May. And uh, uh, if we, uh, the war will stop, uh, we will still have enough time to uh, pre prepare for planting campaign for, for, for corn and sun seeds. Elena says Ukraine consumes just 4% of what the country produces. All the rest is exported to the world and to key buyers such as India, China and the EU. The USDA Secretary Tom Vilsack saying in a tweet that he had spoken to the Ukrainian Ag Minister and expressed that the U.S. stands with the people of Ukraine.